Hi, it's Pam again. How are you? I'm on day 14 of my quarantine. How about you? I hope you're keeping healthy and safe and just hang in there. Uh, this video is to follow up with Kate's TMJD video. So if you haven't seen that, please check it out. So the cool thing about having both Kate and I at your disposal is that we both work in slightly different ways. So she gave you a great way to treat jaw tension in her video, and I just wanted to follow it up with a second option for you. So I do a lot of myofascial release. Myo means muscle, fascia means fascia. It's the connective tissue that surrounds everything in our bodies. I'm a little obsessed with it. We'll get into that more later. But what myofascial release does is basically help everything to soften and change and release through the use of heat and pressure. Heat we are creating through the pressure of our own hands. Now you can also warm an area if you'd like to first. That can take you to the next level quicker, but we're just gonna use our hands for this one. So this is a self-care myofascial technique that will help you with the jaw tension. As Kate said, if you are walking around with jaw tension and then you go to bed, you're already here. And then when you go to sleep, it goes here. And then if you're a grinder, you're messing up your poor, poor teeth. Now, if your jaw is tense, but you're able to get it to release a little bit before you go to sleep, then maybe you get it here. And then when it tenses up at night, it goes here. So much better, right? So this one is, please wash your hands first. Boy, I almost forgot to say that. If you haven't washed your hands before watching this video, please wash your hands. Do not get sick from me showing you how to do this technique. Now you're gonna take the base of your palms and you're gonna put it right under your cheekbone, that zygomatic arch that Kate told you about. So you're gonna put that on there, boom, and this one here, boom. Now, before I do this, I just wanna tell you this isn't, this isn't pretty. If you're around other people and you're self-conscious at all, maybe you wanna find a nice private place to do this because this is gonna be, let's just face it, this isn't gonna be your prettiest look, okay? All right, um, I like to call it my monster face, but you call it what works for you. So you're gonna put your hands right under your cheekbones there, and then you're gonna press in only to a point where it feels comfortable, but you do wanna give it a little bit of pressure. And then you're gonna think of pressing your hands in and down. But instead of forcing it down, you're just gonna press in and then think of letting it fall down. And you're just going with the flow of how your skin lets you and your muscles let you. So I'm gonna press in and then down. You can't really talk during this because you want your jaw to totally release, so watch. You did that with me, didn't that feel good? So I hope you saw that while my jaw was kind of hanging out like here at that last bit, it really released and opened. That's what we're going for because we're just holding all this tension right here all the time and we never like let our jaw fully release. So when you do this technique, I want you to do it five times slow, half the time I just showed you actually, that slow before bed. And you can do it lying down, you can do it sitting up, whatever you prefer but give it a try and let us know how you feel. I mean, I, I have a feeling you're gonna feel much better the next morning. So keep me posted, let us know. Have a great, great day or night or wherever you are in your happy little world. And until next time, be well.